keeps hope alive in our most dreams. Series of this cult series, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> we made it, you know what I'm saying? We made it to the last video of the cult, you know what I'm saying? They say we legally, legally took over the Yellow Devil, no more cults. We finna head out, you know what I'm saying? Cause your boy don't gotta go to work until eight o'clock, and what time is it? Five fourteen. Oh, two hours. And yo, we about to get this shit done. Today, we're gonna go in the yellow deli to take this evil cult down. The group call saying that you guys were taking over the business. Oh well, yeah, we're taking it over, but we did it legally. Before this video starts, I just want to say this video is for educational documentary purposes. And this video is allowed on YouTube. We don't support anything the cult is saying, and we're just trying to shed light and get the information out there and just take down this disgusting evil cult for good. But let's get into the video. YouTuber Reckless Ben and I, we officially took over the Yellow Deli restaurant that's run by an evil cult that uses child labor, child abuse, they're racist, they're homophobic, and many more disgusting things. But we took it over with a legal loophole. We're going to fire all the other employees and we're going to make it, I don't need this, we're going to make it not a cult anymore. And this is how we did it. So this all started when Reckless Ben and I, we went undercover into this cult called the 12 Tribes. We lived there for three weeks. Some people accuse us of being uh, brainwashing cult. All the 12 Tribes. We lived there for three weeks. Some people accuse us of being a uh, brainwashing cult. We were gaining their trust so much that they ended up telling us all their evil beliefs. Yeah, all these, like, black people, like, And I was wearing these secret spy glasses, and they had no idea I was recording. Hey, hey. But when we were working undercover at the restaurant, we didn't have to sign anything. They didn't even know our last names. So basically, if you're part of this cult, no one gets paid. And we thought that was so strange because don't you legally have to pay someone minimum wage? And so we asked, like, how do you not get in trouble for like the minimum wage laws? Is this restaurant ever run into like, problems with minimum wage issues since no one gets paid here? Oh, we're under an LLC. Oh. So we don't have that issue. So, so I'm an owner since I'm working here? Part owner. Wait, really? Yeah. So does that mean I'm part owner today? Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's great. It didn't really seem like there was a manager there. I could be... Okay. ...in the kitchen and started making food. Is there... 
the manager? Is everyone like an equal there? Or? We all own. We're all owners. Oh, we're, all, right. we're all owners, yeah. So basically, that way nobody can just take the restaurant over. That's a, that's a cool loophole. Yeah. You guys found some awesome loophole, I guess, right? Yeah. In their LLC contract, anyone that works at the Yellow Deli is considered a part owner. There's no manager they do a majority vote so that's when the idea clicked let's bring in 25 of our friends have them work a shift at the yellow deli then they're considered a part owner and then majority vote them out we fire all the employees and we all take over the restaurant and we make it not a cult anymore I feel like it's kind of the obvious thing to do. like if they doing like a bad thing and have a loophole to get around it why not just use the same loophole loophole to like do what they're doing to themselves like the reverse sumo card you know but you're probably thinking like if these 25 people just walk in how is it gonna work like they're probably just gonna be like no you can't work here i mean this restaurant's main prophecy actually is they think that god's gonna send 144,000 versions to their restaurant and they're just gonna show up one day and just start working i guess and and so if we show up as virgins they're gonna be like wow our prophecy is finally coming true and they're just gonna be so happy like when we're infiltrating in san diego we can't let the cult know we're doing this and so we just casually brought up like a simple question we just wanted to see what they would say what would happen if like 40 people randomly just showed up at the deli and we're like we're ready to work would you guys be able to like have work for the people yeah because that's gonna happen someday right it's gonna be crowded yeah. thousands of people in so it's yeah. slow now but it's gonna get like really fast really soon some point we strictly told our friends that like, if they ask you, say you came from the San Diego Virgin Club, that's your in right there. And we got 25 of our friends to meet us five minutes away from the restaurant to strategize and get everyone prepared. And Ben and I, we had some sis to get everyone hyped. Today, we're gonna go in the Yellow Deli. We're all gonna become owners. We're gonna outvote them and we're gonna take them down. By the end of the day, this restaurant is gonna be not just mine, but it's gonna be all of yours. You guys ready for this? Yeah! Some of you guys may die. That's a sacrifice that we're all willing to make to take this evil cult down. We have the San Diego Virgin Club. One, One two, two, three, Virgin! So we got all our friends to get hyped up of being a virgin and we headed to the restaurant. But obviously Ben, Lydia and I, we can't go in because the cult knows who we are. They hate us. And so like, we got to hide outside while all the virgins, they go in. But we got to have these 25 virgins have some confidence. We don't want them second guessing them. We told them to go into the back. So they're walking in and they get stopped right away. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Who, um, who brought you? Oh, we're with the Chicago you, Virgin yeah, Club. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, like a we, were, we, were, we were interested in like learning more and stuff. Um, well. If y'all could kind of hit all me this way. So I guess the fake San Diego Virgin Club story, they passed phase one. Now they got to pass phase two, which is actually working a shift. Okay, they're in. I think they're in. We just got a FaceTime video that they're in. They're saying they want to help out. Yeah, we definitely are going to need that. We got tables that we got. Um, we have to seat. The sandwich bar probably could use some help. You get a crew going on dishes. Maybe a crew can start sweeping the floor. Dude, I can't believe it's actually working. They're they're letting them work. They don't have to sign anything. No last names. Just San Diego Virgin Club. Boom. Camina. Oh, dude, they're, be they're becoming great part owners. This is going way too well. Wait, really? Y'all are an answer to prayer. 
Exactly Dude, the prophecy, they I told you, that's what they were going to believe. And they're actually believing that God sent all those 25 people, those yeah. San Diego virgins. I think it was God that sent those virgins in, not us. And because it's working, I mean, we're stoked. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, but guys, 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 what if it's a trap? But Lydia, like, was still on the fence. She was like, it could be a trap. But then they started questioning them about Rovac. Oh, you met Rovac before? Yeah. Because we told them, if they question you, just say Rovac sent you. Rovac is one of the main guys from the farm. It has to be that Yashua's first. But part of the cult lives in the farm and part of the cult lives at the restaurant. So they don't talk that much. So we thought this would be our best bet for them to believe this story. Let, yeah. me, just, uh, let me just call Rovac real quick. I think we might be... They're calling him right now. So our friends, they're smart. They're not going to break character. And they just kept on working. <laughs> And so now the only thing the cult can think of is You know Ben and Dan? They used to help out here. No, you ever met Ben and Dan? He's not uh well, we know someone called Gary, but like, yeah. So now uh, I think on the off chance that we were a group of virgins, because they, they weren't like 100% sure it was us behind them. So they were like, on the off chance that God did send this group of virgins to us, like we don't want to just get rid of them. Like we'll keep them as owners, but we'll just make them get their ownership outside picking up trash. That way, if it is Ben and Dan, like what are they going to do outside? But if it is a group of virgins, at least they're still owners of the restaurant. Hey, ben, for you, if we can all get around and grab a bag that'll be great so they're outside picking up trash and one of the cult members still thinks like ben and i are behind this say hi to ben and dan if they ever show up who's that if they ever show up just have to say hi to ben and dan oh they're two fellows that uh, they claim to be part of the virgin club too So it's like strange. They kept asking questions about us, but like somehow they're still working. And now it's getting to a point they were working for a while and we were telling Victor, Victor's one of our friends that's gonna do the group meeting. He's gonna have the speech where he fires all the employees and we're gonna legally take over the restaurant. And uh, now it's time to gather everyone for the, for the group meeting. Have a seat. Group meeting. I think it's time that uh, we have new changes, right? So no more, no more, no more racism, no more, you know, people hating Jews. We are a community that loves everybody, right? Yes, this is our, this is our restaurant? Yes, exactly, it is our restaurant. We're basically all owners, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, hoorah, three, one, two, three, hoorah! All right, guys. Anyway, so now that we're all owners, I think that uh, we should probably fire everyone here, right? I think so. It's a majority yeah. vote. Yeah. I feel like it's 15 of us. Any all in favor of us being owners and nobody else? Yeah. Say aye. 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 So now we legally own the restaurant. Yes. Which sucks because like I feel like a lot of people don't want to eat here because they think it's like a cult. So we have to rebrand and just like let people know that we're not a cult anymore. So yeah, this is Ben, Lydia, and I's cue to come in and do some rebranding. I think this is going to work out well. Shout out to my mom for spray painting a sheet that says it's not a cult anymore. And then we have another sheet that says grand reopening because it is our grand reopening, Ben. I mean, it's our restaurant now. Y'all need it. Y'all need it. Go. We're rebranding right. the restaurant. Yeah. Should we hang this up? It's time to go down. Probably going to get picked up for trespassing. Oh, yeah. At this right. point. So I think maybe some of the previous owners were confused use because like all of a sudden they're out of a job and so it's like well i do want to like acknowledge them and be like sorry you're like go but i mean we already did that i mean at this point it would just be redundant to like keep telling them they're fired so uh, we have a mission to rebrand to get new customers that want to eat at our restaurant so we're just gonna continue rebranding and i guess we're just gonna let haters keep continuing to hate i guess I'm behind the lens right now. I'm standing up at the top trying to put the sign up that says it's not a cult anymore. And uh, it's working out. And then our sign out of nowhere just got ripped down. By a guy that was eating at the restaurant. Because like... Like I'm telling you eat that restaurant they think that they're nice people we're in a time where a lot of people like us 
the food. Nice. It's because that's the front they put up because most people don't decide to look deeper into them. And so this guy thinks he's doing the right thing. But in reality, this guy is supporting racism, beating kids and child molesting. He literally has no right to do this. It's our restaurant. That guy doesn't even work here. Yeah. He's trying to tell us how to do our job. Here, See what you have Do you know I own the place. You own the place? We're all owners, aren't we? So now this guy, like... He says he owns the place. But no, but we own the place. I mean, it's really just gonna have to come down to a majority vote is what it's gonna have to come down to. Yeah. Yeah, so let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. This is the real world where survival fit is. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Cool. So if you want to challenge me... That's fine, we can do that. Was he talking about he wanted to fight you? Yeah, I, I think he's just unclear of how the Yellow Deli's LLC works. I think a lot of these people are just used about the LLC. Well, we can do it in employee no group vote. No. I say the fairest way no. is we should have employee, we no. should have an employee, no. employee no. group vote to see if we should hang these back up. And majority votes, yeah, hang I'm, them back I'm, up. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Three, it looks four, like you're five, outvoted. Six. It looks like you we just got outvoted. Yeah. So um, yeah. let's let's rebrand. I mean, but this guy, this guy's not having it. He's very angry. Let's do it. You're about to get rebranded. He's right. We were going to get rebranded. I mean, we were going to rebrand the whole entire place. Yeah, Ben and Carrie's going to go put that sign back up. Let's rebrand. You did your fucking shit. But the guy still wasn't having it. You did your fucking cute little yeah. hit shit. You, you can't be doing that, man. You cannot be doing that. You literally... You literally just kicked the owner out of his own restaurant. If you don't like our restaurant, you don't have to eat here. I mean, in this guy's opinion, he obviously thinks like the restaurant's run by Antifa now because we're not using child labor. So uh, yeah, I was just trying to be nice. I was like, hey, there's like plenty of other restaurants. I mean, actually, this is probably the only restaurant that uses child labor. So this is probably the only restaurant that he would actually like. So maybe he is kind of butthurt that we, we basically took his only restaurant that he likes away from him because I mean, no more child labor. We're not going to support Hitler anymore. So like in school, they teach that it's like Hitler's the most evil person that's ever existed and stuff. And, um, well, that's, like, that's the point of view the Jews communicate. I mean, I know that's a big bummer to him that we're making these changes but yeah i mean he's always welcome to eat somewhere else if you can find another restaurant that like supports hitler and stuff like he's welcome to eat there like that's what i'm trying to tell him so his girlfriend or his sister i don't know she uh dude she gets so angry for no reason you don't go. fucking touch me it, it, oh, don't sorry. fucking touch me she did touch me and it probably hurt her a lot i mean you can see look at it we're enjoy our fucking meal i, mean, I can see how that touch like really hurt dude um, that's so funny because she backed into you she's just sensitive you didn't even touch her some people are just really really sensitive danny i hope she's watching this video because that's really funny you're you're customer, customer, don't, don't fucking touch it, me it, oh, don't sorry. fucking touch me all right Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're just you're fucking you're, you're, you're 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 I actually, actually, I got it on full. I mean, I've never owned a restaurant before, so it's like I, I didn't know how to deal with them. I was confused. I was like, what do I do with these like angry customers, you know? Because they were obviously like being super unreasonable and stuff. So it was like making a scene. I didn't want like our other customers to get scared. And like they were all like starting to stand up. You can see they're starting to stand up and like they're not enjoying their food anymore because they're like these crazy people that just barge into our restaurant are now like scaring other people. Well, let's let's re Let's go back up and put the things back up. show up and we're just like yes so they could deal with the angry customer i mean i'm not gonna use force to get him out i'm not like a police officer so like i'm just gonna let the cops deal with that you know and uh ben's so good at talking i just i was just like ben i'm gonna film you you talk to the cops and dude you killed it you killed it we had a customer at a restaurant basically just started pushing us in the yellow deli hey are you workers here or are you just oh we're owners yeah, yeah. we're owners of this restaurant and uh, we had a customer basically come up and start pushing us. I mean, we're not gonna deny anyone service. Like if he's a paying customer and he wants to eat at our restaurant, like of course we'll serve him. But uh, it was just a little rude. So when is the last time you worked here? The last time I worked? Yes. Like today? Because we come here all the time. I've never seen you. You've never seen me? The person that I talk to, I see you. Well, I'm, not, I'm always back in the kitchen, so that's why you don't I see me normally. The farm. So here's yeah. the deal. They're saying you guys don't work here. It's just like oh, okay. So unless you can show me any type of documentation. Yeah, we can. you work here? We can pull up the documentation stuff but so, so here's here's where i'm coming from right? we have we have all the legal documentation Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay. okay we come here all the time right uh-huh all the time uh-huh it's a 24 hours it's yeah really good here we like coming here a lot uh-huh never seen you yeah okay i've never seen you well that's because i'm back in the kitchen 
Yeah. I've never seen you. Wait, so how does that work? Because, like, there's obviously a lot of people in the kitchen. So does he go in the back and see everyone that works there? Because, like... It just sounds like he's just trying to call my bluff and it's not working because I did work there. Yeah, and you were in the I worked, kitchen. I worked a lot. Yeah, so he's trying to call my bluff and it's not working. So that's not evidence that you just come here all the time. It should be evidence if I show you the proof, right? The person that works here says you don't work here. No, I'm the person that works here, and I'm saying that he doesn't work here. I'm saying that he works here, and he's saying that you guys don't work here. He just got fired tonight. He didn't. How do you know? Did, the worker says he doesn't want your group here. Uh-huh. But we're all, but we're owners of the restaurant, though. I, you can't show me any proof that... that... Yeah, I will. I, I, can, I can pull it up. Written in the LLC. What's the LLC? Uh, limited Liability Company. Okay. Uh, so I think he actually knew what the LLC was. I think he was just trying to make you seem dumb or something. Like, how do you not know what an LLC is? Yeah, I kind of really took me off guard. So I just brought up like four times. I was like, you sure you don't know what an LLC is? I was like, we can bring up the LLC. And every single time he's like, I don't really know what you're talking about. So we pull yeah. the LLC. I don't know what that is, but what you're talking about so far, has, you have no proof of what you're of, of anything. Can I show you proof then? No, because I'm not an attorney. I mean, should I pull up the LLC? No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about the LLC. They didn't want to see it. It's like you had the proof, yeah. but why don't they want to see it? Do the cops just not want to deal with that? They're like, oh, you can just get a lawyer for that. But even though we have the proof right in front yeah, of us, it kind of seems like, I don't know, like they just didn't want to see the friends lose their restaurant, you know, they just didn't want to like lose their free food. So they don't want to see the LLC at all. So now Ben's just going to like explain it to him and see if that works. Written in the LLC in all the paperwork, which is verifiable online. You can look it up on your phone if you want. Uh, it says that everyone that works a shift here is considered an owner of the restaurant. So we have all worked here. In the LLC also it says group decisions are made on majority vote. So if you want to fire an employee, it has to be on majority vote. So we are all owners of the restaurant and we outvoted to fire all of the current members. And we had a group meeting. It legally happened. And, and uh, they have all been fired tonight. Well, they didn't really know how to respond to the evidence. So they had to kind of like regroup themselves. And now it's just like me talking to like one of the other guys. We're just having some like little small talk now. The, the only reason why we're here is there was a group call. There was a group call? There was a group call saying that you guys were taking over the business. So they have somebody caught. Oh, well, yeah, we're taking it over, but we did it legally. You worked for the Yellow Delhi? Since June, yes. You guys an employee? Yes. And we have all video evidence of it. Is that Ben? Yeah. How's it? Doing dishes. Oh, nice. I just need you to never leave. Garden burgers? Kind of forget how to do the garden burger, but we'll, uh, we'll figure this out, Daniel. We just have to remember what he does. Yeah. Then all the cops come back. I guess you guys are here to kind of take over the deli. We did everything legally. We have documentation of everything that happened. I don't care about uh -huh. right now. Okay. Um, we know we come here. A lot of the workers come here, right? So I do have. We do have a working relationship with the people that do work here currently. Uh huh. All right. But you guys coming in here, the only thing you're gonna find yourself doing is getting arrested if they want to. If they want prosecution for you guys. Because you have a relationship with them? Here? I've never seen you. I've been here multiple times. Well, because I was Two, in the kitchen. Three. If these police officers watched our videos, though, and, like, saw how racist, homophobic, them beating children, child molesting, like, like I, I wonder how dumb they would feel from this. I don't think they would care. I honestly don't think they would care. I think but they like, know. But aren't they lawful and, like, want to, like, take that down? I don't know. They honestly just wouldn't come out Dude, we're doing a better job than them. So you're going to let them refuse to get fired by the owners of the restaurant because you have a relationship, a if personal that's relationship? If that's how you want to interpret it, yes. They know that the cops can take them down, so they just want to give the cops free food so the cops are on their side, you know? Just bribing the cops, pretty much, in my opinion. So it's basically like, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. This guy is just, he's not making sense. He's trying to make Ben seem like an idiot when Ben has all the facts, all the evidence, all the proof. Theoretically, if I were to walk back on to the restaurant that I'm an owner of, you would arrest me. I don't, I don't work theoretically. So it would be a citizen's arrest by that. I mean, it just kind of hurts because we're the owner of this restaurant okay. now, and I'm sorry. And we fired them, and yeah. it's like. Do you have your ID with you? What I'm thinking at this point is, I'm just like, yo, like you asked for the proof, so I give you the proof, and then when I give it to you, you're like, nope, because I have a relationship with them. That's why I don't want to see the proof anymore. So I mean, I don't know. To me, that kind of seems like shady cop behavior. You see that in the movies, but I didn't think that was going to happen in real life. Okay. Yeah, and then the cops, at this point, they're just trying to, like, troll me, I guess. I just literally couldn't take a single thing that they said seriously. Reckless Ben. R-E-C-K. Oh, you forgot the W. No, it, it, Reckless is spelled without a W. Reckless? 
I'm pretty sure, yeah. No, no. There's a W. There's a sign. There is? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Homework. I have to do some homework. Mark on my name. Wait, let's look it up. Let's reckless. Let's see. Yeah, see, no W. Oh, up your genius. They're just trying to be dicks. Like, well, I just think they're just so uncredible. Like at this point, I was almost thinking, like, dude, is this just like actors the cult hired us to like try and get us to leave? You know, like at this point, I was like, these can't even be real cops. Like they've done their job so bad that these have to just be actors that like the restaurant got have Craigslist or something. Don't worry. Am I not on um, the sidewalk right now, or you can't you just can't block the sidewalk? Am I blocking it? If you guys end up end up blocking it. He's just so sarcastic with you, dude. I think he's just ignorant in his job, but I don't know. So we're trying to find a solution to like get back into our restaurant. We would just have to sue them. That's the only way to resolve this is yes. for us to sue them. Yes. The guy said like the only option is to sue them. So like we'll look at our options and we'll see what we can do. But like, I mean, they owe us something at this point, you know? Obviously like we worked for them and got nothing in return. So they either owe us ownership of the restaurant or they owe us minimum wage or a third thing that I don't know what would be. But if they have a third option, like maybe we'll take that. I mean, they owe us something at this point. I guess we just gotta start talking to lawyers and what our options are any lawyers that watch our videos message us and let's get on a call to see what we could do i just can't believe we're not even allowed in our own restaurant ben i know we're, we're the owners we're gonna work this out but thank you so much for watching i dude we've been working on this series for like a year now yeah. it's nuts all the hard work all the editing like dude you guys these videos take so long to edit like this is the end man it's it's crazy make sure you subscribe to reckless ben to see all his videos on the call he version is as well and uh dude i just can't believe it's the end even though this was our final episode like there's still a lot of things i want to do like we got to find a lawyer that's down i really want to help out this ex-cult member that i've been talking to with her family because like they were born into the cult they escaped in their 30s and they have kids that were born into the cult as well and so the kids never got to experience like a normal life right and so i had an idea of i want to fly them out and take them to disneyland because the kids never got to experience something like that you know you got to take them to the happiest place on earth you know but the only thing is like i don't know if you guys have noticed YouTube is not on my side. They're just not pushing my videos. I don't know why, but that means I'm not making like any money on these videos, which sucks because I've been working on this series for like a year. I was thinking if you guys want to help me out so Ben and I can keep doing things like this, it will help with legal fees and help flying out the ex-cult member and taking him to Disneyland. I did make a GoFundMe. The link is in the description, so go check it out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video.